So before I wore tudung, uh, people would always say things like, Oh, uh, you Malay ke? Or you're not like other Malay girls. What is that supposed to imply? I recently wore tudung and then it was a different spectrum. Where's your AK-47 machine gun? Oh, sh Which was, um, again, educated people saying these things. Orang lain pernah salah anggap terhadap saya kerana identiti atau etnik saya. Okay. My father is Christian before. You know, when my father convert, he doesn't have like a, a good practice in Islam. You know, there's banyak benda-benda yang dia tak tahu which means like dia belajar still sekarang cuma People bila kita hidup dalam majority dan kita dalam minority and people always like macam ada stigma macam oh he, he is not a good muslim you know being uh, you know um, half Indian half Chinese as well uh, it's it's a bit hard to explain but i do feel there's a certain level of ignorance out there sometimes they um, you know when when people have certain stereotypes or you know uh, perceptions of how you should be uh, kalau kita isi borang Saya memang harus letak India lah sebab dalam sejarah kelahiran saya, saya uh, keturunan India. Tapi uh, segi sosial, ini membawa masalah lah kalau uh, orang lain menganggap they, they feel like they need to put you in a box. Although sometimes you might not fit into you know a given box. Jadi, jadi dalam situasi tersebut, um, saya merasa lah kalau saya saya mungkin tidak begitu feel I feel like a lesser Malaysian in, in that uh, context. Um, Another thing is also microaggressions. So I experienced that quite a lot. So before I wore tudung, uh, people would always say things like, "Oh, uh, you Malay ke? Or you're not like other Malay girls." What is that supposed to imply? I recently wore tudung, and then it was a different spectrum of uh, I got from my own colleagues. Uh, Where's your AK-47 machine gun? Oh sh. Which was um, again educated people saying these things and trying to pass it off as jokes. I feel like these kind of microaggressions are normalized. Semua orang di Malaysia mempunyai hak yang selayaknya. So, who's agree? Setuju. I would like to highlight on non-Malay and non-Bumi Putra especially. On 153 Article Malaysia Constitution, is a legal right for other race. That particular clause is for unity. Tapi secara praktis dia, um, saya rasa dia tidak adil lah di seluruh Malaysia pasal polisi telah dijalankan di Sabah dengan Sarawak masih lagi banyak uh, perpindahan ekonomi pasal uh, orang di Sabah dengan Sarawak rasa macam dia tidak cukup uh, peluang ekonomi di Sabah dan Sarawak terpaksa tinggal di KL. I agree with that. Rasanya um, semua orang ada hak yang sama tapi how we implement this hak. My experience living in Sarawak. So my medical school was in Unimas. We had to go to one of the villages because they were going to get a dam so that finally they can get running water in their longhouse. Which is great, but they deserve treated water. How long ago was this? This was um, maybe eight years ago. I hope it's different now. Eight years ago. Mm -hmm. I do agree with you. Access to the rights does come with education and I think that's where it's an important focus. People need to understand that you mentioned eight years ago, this village got water supply, which is not right. It, they should have had water supply for ages ago because well, we're 60 years old, the country is 60 and they only got water supply eight years ago. But I agree with you because at the end of the day, it boils down to money, economic access, as well as your education because when you know you have this right, you are able to fight for it. But when you are unaware of this right, even though you seek help, there will be some people who would try and 
influence you to say, oh no, it doesn't work that way, oh no, it doesn't work this way. Kewarganegaraan saya pernah disoal kerana identiti saya. So, I agree with this. My nationality has been questioned before because of my identity, also because of how I look, also because of how I speak, and it has a lot to do with what I do as well for a living. Uh, nama saya Usha Daniel, saya seorang uh, wartawan dan juga penerbit, dan uh, saya sudah tinggal di KL seumur hidup saya walaupun saya dilahirkan di Sabah. Ada masanya rupa saya menjadi masalah sebab ada anggota-anggota ataupun ofisor-ofisor yang beranggapan saya bukan orang Malaysia. So bila saya terpaksa berjumpa dan bercerita dan explain dekat orang no, saya Malaysian, saya buat cerita ni, production ni untuk Malaysia berkali-kali. So menjadi susah. Ada sometimes minta tunjuk IC. Ada yang tanya, "Boleh nyanyi negaraku?" Rukun negara pun boleh. First day in school at Tapak Perhimpunan, everyone's lining up to go into class. I have a teacher just coming up to me, shouting at me because I'm in a baju kurung. I obviously don't have to wear tudung. And she shouted at me, you think you're special? Kenapa you tak pakai tudung? And I was 13. I was shocked beyond belief. But I could get away from it because I had an elder brother in school with me. My elder brother heard the predicament because he is a year older than me. He heard the teacher yelling at me and he came up to the teacher and was like, oh, cikgu ni adik saya. There was no apology. So if we want to talk about the education system, then why are the educators harassing me? I think it's really hard to break that cycle because sometimes, you know, we, to, to, to train the educators, they come from the same pool of schools. You know, they're, they're same, you know, the products of the education system. So it's, it's really hard to come out of that cycle, you know, when, when you have to educate the educators, right? Mm. And uh, it's, just, it's, it's just like a perpetual cycle that, that never ends. Because of kita dikenalkan dengan, diperkenalkan ataupun di, orang kata, di advert, kita punya bangsa just ada, ada tiga jenis bangsa saja. Dan kita adalah macam kita Sarawak kena as a lain-lain, isn't it? Eh, kita tak boleh. Maybe, maybe because daripada situ, daripada benda yang kecil, walaupun nampak dia adalah aspek yang kecil, tapi benda tu memiliki impak yang besar kepada kita punya negara. And how? Because daripada borang sendiri pun kita ada tunjuk semua lain-lain. Dia -lain. pun tak recognize, oh, kita, oh ada kadar rusun, ada kenyah, kayan. We have a lot of races. But kita tak pernah diperkenalkan secara, bukanlah, diperkenalkan secara lu, meluas kot. Kita punya ada races tu. Oh, kita ada Chindian, we have a mix, you know. That, I, I would like to highlight on that level, mm. right? Melayu, Cina, India, right? For my point of view, mm. when I said Malay is inclusive, mm. that means all inside. The Bumi to try inside there. The orang asli inside there. So in speech or let's say in writing, right, we concise the word. Mm -hmm. So for me, from my point of view, right, mm -hmm. that one is much easier to speak. Pick up within three races. Tapi when itu Malay, lah. Kalau you guna satu istilah untuk semua. Sebab mm. bukan semua Bumi Putra Melayu kan? Kat Sabah dan Sarawak yeah, yeah. ramai. Mm -hmm. So when you when you promote that kind of, you know, uh, okay. We use an umbrella term for everybody. Hmm. Itu menyebabkan identiti atau mungkin um, awareness lah uh, mengenai kaum-kaum bumi putera lain hmm. to, can merosot because they think, oh, they're just Malay. So, you're assimilating that identity. Ya, benda yang bahaya bagi saya ialah kita orang Sabah dengan Sarawak semakin hilang identiti mereka pasal uh, syllabus kita pakai curriculum di sekolah sudah bertukar, sudah di Malaysia, di Melayu kan, not di Malaysia kan, di Melayu kan. Uh, sampaikan kita tidak belajar kadazan dusun, iban, apa-apa uh, bahasa-bahasa lain di sekolah. So saya rasa sayanglah di situ. Saya pernah didiskriminasi kerana identiti saya. Hmm. Ya. Interesting saya mau dengar dari orang Melayu yang minum. Always not from my based on my experience. Oh, okay, I think okay. I think from my observation. Okay. The minority tend to to discriminate uh, discriminated by by the dominant. But what we can do is a to reduce the to reduce that we can propose a proper policy look into that maybe anti anti discrimination act or maybe. Tapi polisi saya rasa tidak akan boleh bantu saya punya pengalaman ni. Waktu saya masuk ke universiti, ada satu orang Kelantan ni, dia setiap kali dia jumpa saya, pasal dia pernah dengar saya bercakap di publik kan. 
uh, dia dengar saya punya ke dalam saya, saya cakap kok 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 macam gitu kan terus dia jumpa saya saya dia cakap kalau 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 saya pun macam saya tengok dia balik mu kecik apa ni <laughs> mu kecik gapo ni <laughs> kau pun ada slang <laughs> so why are you making fun of me you know um, this this discrimination saya tahu ada polisi, ada undang-undang, tapi uh, dia dia lagi sakit bila dia menjadi personal. Parti politik pernah menggunakan identiti orang seperti saya untuk agenda mereka sendiri. So masalahnya uh, apa? Saya... Masalahnya apa identiti saya? <laughs> yeah, I have a very complex identity. Should, so should, uh, should we should we like apa? Yeah, cheers, Bottom. cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Wow. Ah, this is very I think that people that will apa, watch this video will cheers or I rasa yeah. mungkin 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 bukan I'm not going to answer that. Bukan <laughs> 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 bottom up. 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 I think I think that very interesting statement in a Malay majority in a out of Klang Valley always tend to manipulate or being politicized by politician. But our previous election we are able to change it for the first time. But that one is GE. G. Yang the by elections after that, <laughs> wow, it's going back. Yeah. <laughs> um, but even with the new government, I said wasn't rectified. Yeah. But, but it was still a massive it's protest. It's a good indication mm. for us. There was a massive protest for th- when it was brought up the international convention em- elimination of racial discrimination. Like, mm. if we were truly understanding of each other, there wouldn't be okay. political party wouldn't use it as a leverage to say like, oh no, they're calling for equal rights. They, it's Sampai PH sendiri pun yang <laughs> okay tak jadilah. <laughs> it's it's really weird lah. Like you talk about political parties, very simple. A former convicted prime minister shows up at Batu Cave, Tai Pusam, wearing a dhoti and a vesti, like for his political mileage. It's just boils down to that. <laughs> it's just that. <laughs> the issue is th- this issue will exist as long as we have political parties based on race. You know, I think Malaysia is only one of the few countries in the world that has political party based on race, and that creates an issue because, you know, you can you, you can easily find juara Malaysia, juara India, juara China, and dalam kalangan pemimpin politik. But is there a juara Malaysia? Semua rakyat Malaysia merasakan semangat kekitaan kepada negara. <laughs> mm. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay, I d- so don't again, agree. Yeah. <laughs> I disagree. I think we remember the floods in December. Mm. I was one of the volunteers for the floods. Mm. Yeah. I think that was one of the very rare times that semangat kekitaan actually exists. Mm. No one really cared what color you were. No one cares what clothes you wear. No one cares what race you are, what religion you are. Everyone just needed help. That was very heartwarming. It was. It wasn't really like, oh, you Malay, Malay, you Chinese, Chinese, no. Yeah. We are all together when we need to, but it's divided by people who want to conquer and divide. Betul, sebagai untuk pemerintah je. Pemerintah ni memang selfie je kan? Yeah. <laughs> Bukan selalu, silap. Selalu. <laughs> selalu, ya, pemerintah. Yeah. A lot of people, I think, they mistake that oh, with the love for your country. They, When you think of the country, you think of the government. Oh, mm-hmm. I hate this government. Yeah. But my government doesn't represent me, right? Mm-hmm. It's more my, my country, you know, it represents my culture, my identity, my background. It's not just the policies and, and the lawmakers in place. Unfortunately, like the government is the representative of the people. So I mean, then you got to ask yourself if we are really unhappy with the politics that's happening now. But our politics is a reflection of our society, and it's us that have to hold people up, you know, to become more accountable. And takkanlah every time banjir baru, everybody wants to mm. band together. I think it's normal for. Um, people to want to stay within the groups that they are from, you know, uh, people who look like me, have the same experiences like me, who talk like me, probably will be able to relate to me more. So then maybe the first barrier would be to um, to to have this realization that we're not, you know, even today, beyond all these external things, we are very much having the same human experience. Selepas perbualan ini, saya lebih memahami identiti rakyat Malaysia yang kompleks dan pelbagai. Hmm. Saya, saya setuju lah sebab saya dapat dengar pengalaman kalian semua dari yang dari Sabah Sarawak. I think sometimes when we are in our own bubbles, 
we don't realize how diverse the people of this country really are. So saya setuju tapi saya sedih <laughs> pasal <laughs> apa yang kita um, dapat daripada perbincangan ni, apa yang saya dapat daripada perbincangan ni ialah keadaan dia macam makin teruk bukan makin baik dari segi memahami uh, satu sama lain. Kalau kita enam orang ni saya percaya kita semua makin belajar sesuatu yang baru. I would say it's an experience where I get to hear everyone who has experienced similar things at me like me growing up so I know I'm not alone. For six of us yeah we're learning through experiences but how do we bring this learning experience to a bigger platform and actually get the rest of Malaysia to understand that this is what it is. Yeah, sure. Don't know because sometimes kita penat untuk bertoleransi ya. <laughs> kita penat untuk bertoleransi sometimes eh. Saya, sometimes. Saya rasa istilah tu kan bertoleransi. I don't really like it because when you look at to tolerate means like maybe something not agree but okay lah. You know, just we, we'll just we yeah. we'll just deal with it. I say, yeah. I say minority je yang kena mengalah. But really we need to inside hmm. that understanding and acceptance not just to tolerate others. Betul? You know? Yeah. yeah. Terlalu ramai yang tertindas sebenarnya. Cuma kita tak pernah cakap benda itu because of it sounds taboo because of people cuba mengelakkan untuk bercakap tentang perkara-perkara berkaitan dengan kerajaan, berkaitan dengan budaya, culture, etnik. Sebab kita rasa benda itu sangat-sangat tabu lah. Tabu ataupun kita panggil benda-benda yang dikhuatiri akan menyebabkan perkaum, isu-isu perkauman. Tapi sebenarnya bila kita tak membincangkan masalah perkauman yang berlaku kan even the small matters about our races jadi itu itu masalah kita sebenarnya dan kita tak belajar daripada kisah patu dan di sejarah sepatutnya kalau kita merasakan sejarah tu uh, adalah pahit bermakna kita learn something 